to butter blog 2. Hi, my name's Graham. Not on the internet as Downy Wobbles. Just want to let you know about my experiment with growing tobacco. Planted it, I think it was on the 23rd of April. And uh, this is the results. I've got some outside. I've got it everywhere. In fact, I've got a greenhouse here with some in. Growing a bit quicker. It's uh, very big plants. Few carnations at the back. Uh, a piece drying as an experiment, going okay. Just a young bit drying. Got um, plants here as well, all over the place. Plants there. Yeah, I'm stairs only. I'm just trying to get rid of a few. We live on the edge of nowhere, so we virtually can do anything. I've also got plants in there uh, in a special shed. I did for me ducks and chickens also hang on a minute we've also got a pear tree uh, we've got tobacco plants there by the budgie avery got uh, plants around here take you around as i say we live on the edge of nowhere so we can do what we want uh, right going around here I've got to show you my plants I've got outside. This is the place we live, it's more or less, more or less deserted. Um, round here. There's Duffy. Right, we're in the field now, which is where I live. Coming round, I'm going to show you my tobacco plants. I've got in this sort of covered in thing which I got from conservatory panels when the roof blew off the conservatory I took the old panels if you look into here you can see into there just I've also got it's the watering system and then pipes it comes off the roof goes down in the gutter oh man goes down in the gutter Along the gutter, through these pipes, which I've locked up a bit in a minute, through these pipes and into there, and uh, it seems to rain every day. So uh, there's plants down there on the outside of the house as well. I can see from here, but they're getting a bit sluggy. Anyway, uh, I've um, I've been experimenting with it all, and uh, I've got uh, Burley, Connecticut, uh, Connecticut shade in there. I've got uh, Havana. I've got Havana. I've got all sorts. So this is a little video. I'll do one, and I want to explain how I started away. I smoke an awful lot of cigars and I'm just hoping that I can get a couple of them, I don't know, it might take a, quite a while. Um, cigars are quite cheap if you go to Amsterdam you can get them Corona's 30p each so it's not really it's not really vital that you, you grow your own. Um, back round here. Um, Again, uh, I'll just uh, go back to the original shed. Oh yes, I forgot I've got them around the front of the house as well. I'll just go around there and show you. There we are on the table again. Go around the front of the house. And uh, I'll show you the plants I've got out in the full sun. I think they grow better. The Virginia creepers are out of control here. 
Right, uh, we're on the front of the house. We've got a uh, pretty large conservatory on here, but anyway, there's some more tobacco plants. Seem to be driving because we've got a bit of sun out the front. Smoking a cigar now, so I'm stunned it. Uh, stunted voice, I mean. Also got them amongst the flower beds. There, it's a couple in there. And also from the front of the house, amongst me flowers. Some there, some there. I want far too many. I had about 600 plants. I've got an allotment as well, a large allotment which I've been putting rows in. There's some plants along there. The chickens tend to dig them up a bit. Let's see, a bit few more up here. There's a one. Let's see if there's any more, there's some more up here. There they are. I give them a um, very, very liquid feed, tomato feed, but not strong, just once a week. Just to keep rid of the yellowness of them. Don't want them too green, because you never get them dried if they're too green. Anyway, that's uh, it for now. I hope it's uh, given you a couple of ideas. I see the plants are about, all of them about eight weeks old at the moment. So that's how much growth you get. I see these ones in the garden are a lot slower than the ones in the greenhouse. But uh, I'm quite happy with them. And there's, there's the place over there where I've got them outside. Uh, I'm thinking about putting a few down the hedgerow there, digging over a bit if I can keep the wildlife off them. Anyway, see if I know I'll be back. I'll be back with another interesting part of my story. Thank you. That's it folks, end of vlog 2, see you soon, bye.